Hi everybody and I'd really like to wish you um, Happy New Year and hope you had a lovely, lovely Christmas. I would actually like to thank everyone who has subscribed and followed and sent lovely feedback in the few months that we've been doing this and it really makes such a difference. We're growing slowly but nicely and I hope that everything we bring to you, you get some kind of um, upliftment from or comfort from or empowerment, whatever it is. So thank you for everything you are doing by supporting this channel. Now we have been, well, left with the month of December and launched into the new month of January. And of course it's exciting. Now at the end of De uh, December we had the uh, solar eclipse in Capricorn. And this has kind of left us with what I feel is a springboard into the new year. When we were thinking about making New Year's resolutions and or how can we alter our situation around us emotionally or spiritually, I think it's given a good flavour and a good energy to help us to reflect on what needs changing. Because it's brought in the opportunity to evaluate everything in our material world. What does that mean? That means that maybe we're not going to go for the bigger, faster, gas-guzzling gas car that we really thought we'd like, but maybe drive something a little bit more economical. We are living in a time where now we have to be quite responsible for how we are with the environment. Kind of takes me back to thinking as I'm talking to about the Native American Indians who lived on the reservations and the plains and only used what they needed to, you know, survive and to, to grow and to live on the land. For us, it would mean something completely different. It might be that maybe we're going to walk to work instead of using the car. Maybe we are going to um, not sort of get involved in the high-end stuff and be more, more observant about what we're using, where it comes from, how it arrived at what it is, that kind of thing. So that gives us a chance to evaluate what we're doing in our lives on a daily basis. And it also brings in practical planning, especially with and combining it with our spiritual and moral ethics. So again, it's like how we move forward. What is it we're going to move forward into? Is it responsible to the planet? Is it responsible and is it taken into consideration the way we help other people uh, along the way? And I think we'll see a lot more of that this year. It's also about making the best of our situation. We would all like to change our situations. We would all like to be, I suppose, in a more comfortable situation. But where do we draw the line where enough is enough? Uh, do we have plenty? Can we help somebody else? And also, it's giving us the chance to look at our past mistakes. What did we do wrong? Or what would we change if we had the opportunity to arrive again? And so there's a lot of change there. And if we bring it back to ourselves in for looking for relationships, what mistakes did we make in a relationship or what mistakes do we keep making? This is the time to evaluate that. Might be about work. Maybe you've made the same mistake about working for somebody you don't want to work for and it's, you find yourself in the same situation. Usually that's a sign that we need to change something and change is something that we fear But you know what it takes us out of our comfort zone and when we get through it, we actually feel so much better for it So using that as a as a springboard Opportunities to evaluate everything in the material world Keeping it real and in perspective Making the best of your situation and being humbled and have gratitude in that and looking at our past mistakes in order to look at how we can better improve ourselves because all of this um, spiritual growing and learning is how we can make and feel better um, 
and how we interact with other people on the planet. So anyway, that's the springboard it's given us. But we're going to look at you individually now uh, through the star signs with the tarot cards. I've got a new deck of cards and I'm really looking forward to having a look at what's in store for you in this month of January 2020. It's exciting, a new decade. So let's go for it. Hello and welcome Leo to your January 2020 insight. Um, I can't believe we're in a new decade. Amazing. It's exciting. It's very exciting. So I'm going to pull an angel card for you. And I'm also going to throw some tarot cards out. Let's all look and see what January throws up. Highlights. See what's going on here for you. Right, okay, and then one of my Angela Hartley and Josephine Walk new cards that was given to me this year. It's a present, beautiful they are. I treat you to see these as well. Right, okay, so the first card out, self-acceptance, the angel of self-acceptance. We may make New Year's resolutions on all the things we want to do, but are they within your goal? Are they within your reach? Are you setting your sights a little too high in your expectation that if we fail, it's like, well, I'm never going to try that again. This card invites you at this time of year to accept who you are. And yes, we can change. You know, I can't change myself from a size whatever to, you know, 40 to a size 10. It's not going to happen. In, so I can do it sort of slowly gradually but there's a there's a an over expectation there so it's, it's kind of saying don't push yourself too much don't push those limits so far that you just halfway through fail and won't go back to doing it again accept your what you can do and just push yourself that little bit further so be easy on yourself i always feel with this um, it is my card for, you know, does my bum look big in this? <laughs> but you know what? Somebody loves your bum in that anyway. So that's what it's saying. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't push yourself too hard. Gently does it. Do things slowly in bite-sized chunks so you're more likely to achieve what you set out to achieve um, that way rather than setting your goals too high. I'm all for goal setting, but it can be over zealous in that way so be accepting of who you are love every part of yourself because i think it's too many times it's when my hair's too curly it's too straight and my nose is too big too small or whatever and so we could go on and on and on and say no 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 the angel's saying be aware that it's the light that shines within you and how you are with others that actually shines out loud and very bright Right, okay, so let's take a look at what Tarot is saying for you this month. A little bit of an emotional start for you because we've got the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups says we're being a little sentimental. We're looking over past situations. We may be reflecting on past relationships or the past year. And I know we do that certainly at the new year. Um, but there's an intensity here with you. Maybe you're feeling it more than other people. Maybe you're missing your loved ones who are no longer here and you're starting out on a new year or a new decade without them. Please remember they're always, always around you. But reflection. Reflection is good, but there's a lot of sentimentality here. So you may find yourself um, being sensitive, more sensitive than you normally would be. So be aware of that, yeah? It's good to look back. Maybe take yourself off to the seaside, have a walk along a beach or around the reservoirs or, or around a river 
water will be really really good for you this month and on reflection and at getting your thoughts straight and in your head and of course Scorpio um, being a water sign that's very much you being in there uh, as well and it's quite interesting because right beside it then you've got the Queen of Swords so we've got the Queen of Reflection of Water of Sentimentality and then almost like we give ourselves a shake down and then we're no we're back in the head it's like no this is what I've got to do and this is what I'm going to do and this I'm going to do it to the point it's interesting because it's almost like two sides to you this month um get the business head on get the the actual pattern the planning and everything else so maybe you're just going to allow yourself time to be show that softer side and then we revert back into actually this is it i'm going to be organized i'm going to be straightforward straight talking it could be that when you're reflecting that you decide actually i've done it en enough maybe you've been looking back and you think no more now maybe you're looking back at a past relationship that didn't work and it's almost like you go no i've got to look forward now move forward and i'm done with that so that's kind of the feeling i'm getting with the two being side by side look at things from a different perspective okay the hanged man here says yeah you may have been stuck in a situation but here it's saying let's look at things from a different angle a different perspective another way of looking at this because the hangman is very very spiritual and although sometimes you may you may as some of you experience delays appointments being put back things being delayed not you know things you're not getting things in on time if you've got deadlines to make be aware of that and you having to sort of shake yourself and go you know i've really got to get my head down and i've really got to get into this so the hangman energy here saying let's look at a different way if there are obstacles around you maybe bring some help in maybe you know some support um to get you through what you need to get through but i always say with this card as well it is the universe saying okay we're keeping you on the amber traffic lights waiting for the green light to go but it means that there are other things that are not in place for you to experience so if you push through that too quickly it might not manifest whatever it is you're doing so although you've got this mental attitude like let's go for it head down we're focused we're doing it and you're still finding that you are getting delayed then just sit back a little bit because it, things aren't ready yet things are not ready to move on into so slight delays they're not cancellations they're just postponements okay but you can always look at the different angles and also maybe a, a, again I'm coming back to a sense of your spirituality and what you believe to be true within you so there's a real mix of emotions going on with you this month but then we have stability and the four of ones is talking about being stable this is matters to do with the home putting down good foundations um you may be thinking of doing some home improvements some of you may be getting married um but it's a fun time and it's a really so i want to say for scorpio the word the spirit are giving me is profound um moving forward so you may have done a lot of work on yourself and now you've put down great foundations and having the time to enjoy it and to be very pleased with yourself and like i say there could be a wedding invitation it could be you that's getting married um but it's certainly celebrations you could some of you could be moving house um again you could have had some delays with it you've had to maybe sort things out with your, your lawyers with it but it comes to fruition it happens it's there it's happening and it's solid and secure and the card that's come out quite a few times this over the, with the different readings is the karma card and everything for a reason karmically you will be in the right place at the right time i don't know if some of you feel like you've been left out of something or you've been looked over 
you could have been looked over at work with promotion. It could have been you were left out. Maybe you think the universe has left you out. You're still single. Um, but this is all about soul's journey and what your karmic journey is about too. So I feel that this time, this month, is a very significant month for you, Scorpio, as far as your karma is concerned. Um, I'm not getting you cutting ties from people, so I don't feel like that. Um, I feel that you, although you may have felt a little eclipsed, you are going to come out and into your own as we move forward. Yes, I just wanted to pull one more card. So I feel here, this is, you haven't been left out. And this is about your security and feeling grounded and happy. And it rightfully is yours. It's rightfully yours. There's a lot of women around you this month. So I feel as if either you're working around a lot of women or you have family. And But did you have a lot of, lot of family um, or female energy around you? Um, it could simply, like I say, you could just be working with a lot of females. Um, but certainly that more feminine energy might be what's needed as well around you. Okay, so let's have a look at what the new culmination, culmination of vision. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? The illustrations on this are gorgeous. Um, she actually does cards, which I sell in my shop here. And um, they are so beautiful, the attention to detail. This uh, culmination of vision is about this month as well. We saw you sort of saying your piece, head down, focusing, but a few little sort of um, delays. This card says, looking at your goals and have you got everything you need to achieve your goal? So that is, have you got the right attitude? Is there any belief system within you that's not going to allow you to get there, you know? Um, so if, you, if you're doubting yourself, you need to throw the doubt out the window. It's like focusing forward. I can do this, I will do this. And have that attitude so that nothing gets in your way. So that you can culminate everything you want together to achieve your goal, and rightfully so. With this, um, she's looking out and beyond. And as the tree, the tree grows in strength and might and it's well anchored into the ground. So the foundations are down. And of course here, we talked about the foundations, didn't we? So I feel that you will achieve it and just make sure that you've got everything you need at your fingertips. And don't, we ourselves can stop ourselves from achieving our success. No, there are no limits, okay? And that there is every possibility and every potential for you to feel that you can achieve. And this lady says you can. This lady says shows you being successful, grounded, practical and in control. Beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed your reading this month. And I, um, if you haven't already subscribed and shared i would be ever grateful if you did um help make this channel grow so we can do so much more you have a lovely month in front of you so enjoy and go get those goals and stay focused don't let anything or anyone or even your own self stop you from getting there until next time 